Picture this. You're doing an instrument proficiency flight with a safety pilot. You're flying a Piper Arrow. You want to take off from Omaha Millet Airport, fly to Columbus, shoot the localizer DME runway 14. Then you fly to Beatrice, shoot the VOR 36. Then you head back to Millard and shoot the RNAV 12 to a full stop. Are you going to have enough fuel? Let's open up Four Flight and see. Here's my flight I planned using the Four Flight Performance Profile for an Arrow and the Performance Plus subscription. This Arrow has 34 gallons of usable fuel when it's filled to the tabs. Four Flight says I'm going to burn 21.8 gallons of fuel. 34 gallons is plenty. It leaves me 12.2 gallons at landing, well over the VFR reserves. I'm good to go, right? No. If this is how you plan, you're doing it wrong. In that scenario, I didn't consider the fuel needed for any of the approaches I'd be doing or any of the climbs and descents. Here's a better way of doing it. Let's start with the basic route, KMLE to KOLU. I'm going to fly the localizer DME from Kobed. Now you see that just this leg is going to take 13.5 gallons. That number includes taxi, takeoff, climb, and descent fuel, as well as the fuel needed to shoot the approach. Let's save that route as a favorite. Next, clear that. You have it saved. Enter KOLU to KBIE. Select the VOR runway 36 from BIE. Now this leg will take 13.9 gallons. Same thing. Save it as a favorite. Clear that one more time, then enter KBIE to KMLE. Select the RNAV runway 12. This leg will use 11.0 gallons. Let's add that up. In total, that's 38.4 gallons of fuel. Obviously, my 34 gallons of fuel was not enough to get me around to all three airports with an approach at each. This is one technique I use for round-robin flight planning. As with any automated technique, it is up to you as the pilot in command to dummy-check the results and correct any errors. Safe flying, y'all.